<laughs> um, we're recording. So, have you read the release form? Have you read the release form? No. Uh, yes, well, I filled them all out for you fill them out people for I brought. Okay. Uh, can you please tell us your name? Uh, my married name is Anna Mae Harpster. Okay. Um, and what have you brought to the harvest today? Um, a picture, a calendar, a uh, Chef Boyardi calendar, which was uh, their 75th anniversary issue. And some booklets that were published. I, I'm not sure how many years, but the war, the war every the war years. Yes, the war years called "What's Cooking." Yeah. Which little bit of information about the plan employees. Uh, they were sent to the servicemen because a lot of their wives worked there, so they were sent to them. Right. Uh, are there like specific years on those pamphlets? Because I know you said the war years, and that's what there's, there's a date. Right. Would help her. There's a date on each. So mm -hmm. this one is July twelfth, nineteen forty-six. Oh, that might be one. And that one is November first, nineteen forty-six. Um, so why did you decide to bring these to the harvest today? What? I asked her. Oh, you asked her? Sorry. Yeah. A former, a former employee asked me. Do you ask her or do I? What? Oh, you're asking a A friend. <laughs> yeah. A friend and former employee. And she didn't know about this, so I asked her to come because of her age and because she's been in Elton all these years. <laughs> so, how did your family acquire this item? Or, like, you uh, acquired it? You mean the items I yeah. brought? Oh, uh, well, just by working there. My husband worked there for a long time. His uh, service was interrupted by a war, and uh, that's how I got involved. I used to work in the summertime, and the tomatoes were being grown and manufactured. Made a season, okay. and that's when they employed more people. Okay. So what did you do at the? Was it the chef where you plant, right? I worked. I worked in the laboratory. Uh, they used to have a. Where where the tomatoes were grown with on a real high part of the manufacturing plant and that's where we took specific gravities in color and all those things that the government had to know. It, it, a lot of it was because of sending uh, food to the troops. They sent a lot of baked beans. They were really into that at that time. Yeah, but that was easy. In other words, C rations. Yeah. Yes. C rations. Okay. So, folks unfamiliar with Milton watching this video, what does your item tell them about your town? So, what do you think your like items would tell people? Well, it certainly made it. Uh, when Mr. Boyardi came, of course, the, the war really did make Boyardi's popular. 
and uh, a lot of people got jobs, summer jobs, and of course the farmers. That uh, and we and we did have. I don't know if I should mention that we have migrants that came and migrant families and stayed in the area for the tomato growing. And that was different because <laughs> the children even went to, you know, they started school when when the kids from Elton uh, started, a lot of the migrant children went also. Do you have any final thoughts for people watching this video? Final thoughts? Yeah, what? just like information that like you think should be known to people. About our town. Yeah, just like any... Yes, a lot of about Milton and surrounding towns and I can't think of any one thing. <laughs> <laughs> you love Milton, don't you? Like I do. Oh yes. Yes, a lot of us found out a lot of things during the war that we had to endure like just like everybody else. Did you enjoy working there? Pardon? Did you enjoy working there? I'm Did you enjoy working? Oh, yes. I did. I worked in the state and my job was in the stationery store. So working at Boyardi's was a lot more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> So you worked at the stationery store when you weren't working there over the summer? You said that you worked at Boyardee's over the summer, right? Yes. Yeah, so the stationery store was your other job? Yes, but not at the same time. It was different eras. And after tomato season, then, um, I guess I did well enough to get a job there. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I, if I would have known ahead of time, I probably could have had better answers. No, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Do you have anything else to ask? Scott, no, we asked all the questions. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome.